we're going to continue exploring our exponential models because I know you guys haven't had enough of it yet. And we're actually going to calculate this time. So we're going to write and evaluate exponential expressions to model growth and decay situations. Remember that formula we learned in the last section, well, the earlier videos? Well, we're going to be using it now. Oh, that's the best. It's like you purchase a new tool at the hardware store and you finally get to use it. Oh, yeah. Just a reminder, in case you forgot, which I know you didn't because you guys retain 100% of everything that you listen to in one of these videos and you write down, this is our exponential growth and decay function. All right, so we're planning on placing money for college in a CD that earns 5.3%. You have $1,200 now, and you will, how much are you going to have in three years? You're saving for college. Now, if you find a CD that earns 5.3%, you take that, okay, because that doesn't exist anymore. You probably hopped in a time machine, and you traveled back in time to where you could actually make money on a CD like this, and it would actually exceed the, the inflation that we normally have. That's another story. Okay, so let's write down our formula. So now we're going to fill in our variables. Well, how much are we starting with? That's our lowercase a that we have. And let's see here. So we've got a of, well, three years. Okay. So we're starting with $1,200. And it's one. Is it going to be plus or is it going to be minus r? We're, we're gaining money, right? So we're going to be plus, And then 5.3% written as a decimal is 0 0.053. And how many years again? Three years. Very nice. So basically, we're gonna we're gonna pop all that in our calculator. All right. So you can plug it in just like you see it right there. If you got one of the older TI-83s or an older TI-84 that's not as nice with the exponents, it's okay. Just use the caret. It should work out just fine. But make sure you practice plugging these in. Because if you're just like, oh, I'll just plug it in the calculator, I'll be fine. You're gonna make mistakes. I guarantee it. So after three years, this amount of money is going to end up being $1,401.09. Make sure you're rounding correctly. We learned how to round back in grade school, so I expect you to be able to actually round correctly. Okay, awesome. So the amount of money that we have after three years is that amount. So you just put money away, and it just made money for you. Money making money. That ain't funny.